during our time together, we would talk to you about uh, Decker's answer to the problem of safety in today's workplace, which we've called exposure-based safety technology. Through our experience and through uh, our research, we know that organizations are not getting the, the types of results they're asking for as quickly as possible and that industry is changing. With new technology, new exposures, new people, new uh, workplace, it becomes even more important that we have the right systems in place to address those challenges. To meet the challenges of today's safety in the workplace, there's five things that we need to really have a different mindset about and to look at differently. To start, we need to let go of old paradigms about what safety is and how we achieve it. Now we have a global environment with tighter regulations, leaner workforces, and leaders must do more with less resources. The opportunity we have is technology has evolved and right now we have Industry 4.0. The first generation was me mechanization, water and steam power. Second generation brought us mass production, assembly lines and electricity. The third generation we saw computers and automation and now, in the fourth generation, we have cutting edge cyber physical systems. We now have the technology to meet these challenges if we know how to use it. Well, how do we use it? In exposure-based safety, we let go of the old paradigms about how safety is managed in today's workplace. We gather real-time exposure data in the workplace and we quickly analyze that real-time data to act on exposures before injuries occur instead of after. This leads us to the second principle for addressing today's safety challenges. You need to pair good science with good technology. If you lead safety today, you know that there are many existing methods and practices that people say will improve safety, either homegrown or from other providers. But scant data exists on what methods are most effective or even compatible in today's increasingly digital world. The good news is that independent research now shows that what works for improving safety and engaging all employees Specifically, it confirms that DECRA's BAP technology works to reduce incidents by up to an average of 45% by the third year. We can now answer the question of participation versus intensity. Having fewer observers, doing more observations is more effective. We can also show why we localize, not generalize. Results are more effective when observers provide feedback on fewer areas. And finally, data is proving that specialization matters. Clients who focus on fewer critical issues, who adapted to changing risks, and who coached observers also did better than those who did fewer of these activities. Rather than lean on digital technologies to provide a temporary and really largely cosmetic improvement to safety performance, optimum results start with proven methodology that then drives the use of technology. Together, they make a significant difference. DECRA is putting this knowledge to use in exposure-based safety technology and helping leaders create next generation safety performance. This technology is built on 30 years of proven methodology and pairs it with enterprise technology that transforms data into actionable insight. But it's not enough just to rely on research. To really make change, we really have to, to broaden our focus on exposure. Anybody that has been associated with a behavioral approach to performance improvement realizes that behavior is very, very important. It's not the only type of exposure, and we really need to begin to focus on the other types as well. Uh, in today's world, we, we recognize the fact that leaders recognize the fact that um, it's not just employees, it's also things such as physical exposures, uh, some of the brain-centric type uh, hazards, and we really need to have a system in place to address all of those. Exposure-based safety technology does that by really focusing three different types of, of, of sampling procedures, if you will. Uh, one of those being person to person, which begins to help us recognize not only the, the physical side of the exposure, but the relationship between behavior and the exposure. The focus type sampling helps us focus on things like serious injury and fatality, some of the brain centering, some of the ergo issues, things of that nature and then verification type sampling to make sure that we are really looking at the right exposures uh, all across the organization. Another thing we must learn is how to optimize our organization's resources. There are constant changes in the business landscape today that most of us have never seen before. Leaders must constantly adjust their work teams to get the most out of the precious resources available. 
The good news is there's new thinking around safety practices and performance that offers companies the opportunity to change who does the work and how they do it. Exposure-based safety technology helps people at all levels be involved in meaningful exposure reduction efforts. For example, a small core group of observers taking samples on a regular basis is much more effective than a large number doing samples infrequently. This leads us to one final thing we can do to improve our safety performance. You need to upgrade the engagement experience for all employees. Technology and distance can make today's workplace seem less human than ever before. Leaders need to find ways to keep people engaged if they are to assure safe, reliable operations. The right technology not only enables great safety performance, it can help create a stronger connection between the employees and the safety and business mission. The trick is to use technology that allows employees to easily and intuitively find the information they need, report issues, and respond to exposures. Exposure-based safety technology uses real-time data entry to reduce the time spent on administrative tasks and optimizes the time spent on data analysis and action. Dynamic dashboards allow people across the business to access critical exposure information. This creates a sense of ownership around safety performance. It's really an exciting time to be involved in the safety world. Like many of you, we are really proud of where we have come from over the past 30 years. We have provided powerful results that have had a true impact on the lives of many people. As industry evolves, so must we.